What's up, Patreon? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan. This is Ty Nick. What up? All right, guys. So we got something special for y'all today. Because <laughs> I'm very excited. You already know. We are doing the king of pop, baby. Michael Jackson. Ooh. The greatest alive. Since this is our first time doing Michael, got to give the background. Michael Joseph Jackson was born August 29th, 1958. Did not know his middle name was Joseph. Me neither. He's an American singer, songwriter, and dancer. And I would also throw an actor because he has been in movies. So That's I'm true. Throw yeah. it in there. He was a global figure in pop culture because of his music, fashion, dance, and personal life. He made his debut of his career in 1964 with his brothers as a member of the Jackson 5. Which Fire. was huge Fire. when they first came out. Jackson 5, great songs. Yeah, who doesn't know ABC? <laughs> exactly. Great song. And if you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. He began a solo career in 1971. He became a solo star with his album Off the Wall, came in 1979. What me and Tyler did not know is that he actually had like four albums before that. Yeah, I did not I know did that. As a solo. Like I thought himself. Off the Wall was the first album that he made. Me too. By himself. He is one of the best-selling uh, music artists of all time. He has 13 number one singles, more of any male artist of all time. Some of his awards that he has is 15 Grammys, 6 Brit Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and 39 Genesis World Records. And I'm wondering what those were for. I don't know. Is that just for sales? I mean... I would assume really a lot sure. of it would be for sales, <laughs> yeah. I had to guess. But sales, money, dancing, I don't know. I mean, unless he had some sort of <laughs> hidden talent <laughs> <laughs> juggling for... It probably, it probably has something to do with charting. Like, you know, yeah, like I think it's a bunch of charts. Chart, yeah. Albums, stuff like that. He is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think everybody knew that. Twice! Twice! Yep. Twice! One for the Jackson 5. He also is in the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. Okay, by the way, if I said all these Hall of Fames, I did not know it was this Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, he's in a lot this of Hall of Fames. I gotta get that out. He's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the Dance Hall of Fame, and the R&B Hall of Fame. Yeah, that, he's in all hall <laughs> Where are these located at? Yeah. How do we have space? To be honest, I would like to visit. What if they're like spread out across the country? Like one's in like Wyoming and then one's oh, in like Florida. I wouldn't doubt it. That'd yeah. be hilarious. We're going to go on a Michael Jackson Hall of Fame <laughs> road trip. <laughs> Let us know if you'd like us to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when this came out, but uh, Forbes reported that uh, his life earnings is $4.2 billion. That's insanity. He has 10 albums. All of them are platinum. On top of platinum. On top of platinum. Yeah. All of them platinum, multi-platinum. It's it's insane. So the song that we're doing today is The Girl Is Mine featuring Paul McCartney. Yeah. And yeah. let me just tell you right now, this <laughs> song is absolutely fire. And, and yes, we have all heard this song. We don't, <laughs> we don't need to introduce Paul McCartney. You should know who Paul McCartney is. Yeah, if you don't, shame on you. <laughs> So this song is off the Thriller album, which was his sixth studio album. It was one of the best-selling albums of all time. Yeah, and we actually looked it up. It was the best-selling album yeah, of all time. number one. From what we have read, it seems that the Eagles' Greatest Hits album may have passed that up. You know, they're both there. We'll yeah. just say that. And I just wanted to say that I'm not like a hardcore Michael Jackson fan, but there's always a but. <laughs> this is one of the greatest albums of all time. You yeah. can just play it start to finish. Yeah, right. pretty much. And me and Ryan are big time Michael Jackson fans. Oh, yeah. Big hard. time. Yeah. We have bopped to this song and all other songs in my car <laughs> several times. Listen here. There used to be a special whenever Michael Jackson died on BET. They used to play random Michael Jackson music videos all the time. It was like a big thing when Michael Jackson died. I used to watch certain videos and I learned all almost every music video's dance moves by Michael Jackson. <laughs> So I, I pretty much know almost every dance move of any song you can name. That's how big a fan. In my room, by myself, door locked, dancing to Michael Jackson. That is dedication. Yeah, it is. So the album Thriller, it went 34 times platinum. I think that's enough talking, because I'm ready to hear this song. Let's do it. This is Michael Jackson featured Paul McCartney, The Girl Is Mine. Oh my goodness. Mmm, <laughs> you hear that? She walks right in my dreams Since I met her from the start I'm so proud I am the only one Who is special in her heart The girl is mine The dog girl, girl is mine I know she's mine The dog girl, girl is mine Just a way 
waste of time because she's mine. The dark on girl is mine. Oh, just stop it. No, oh, goodness. This is amazing. Just it's, stop it. It's perfect. This is absolutely perfect. The background is all that. You know, it's all that, that dreamy, stuff. It's yes. that dreamy sound. I love it. And it was brought to our attention that the band behind this album was Toto. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. That explains it. That does <laughs> That's explain why it. it's fire. <laughs> yeah. That does no explain. kidding. Yeah, because people were telling us that every member of Toto was studio musicians. Wow. And then they just came together. So wow. I'm mind, mind blown. blown. I'm mind blown right now. And that snare might as well be a snap. It is yeah. a snap. Yeah. I was about to say, is, is there a snap? In oh, there? there's definitely or, a snap. Or am I just hearing no, things? No, I, I was snapping. <laughs> I was dead. Hey, oh, it makes you snap, baby. The snap is there. Their vocals are on point, too. Yeah. I don't know why. You know, Michael's voice is always perfect. Yeah. Pitch perfect every time. Cannot be replicated. It is always amazing. Just imagine if these two made even more songs together. We oh, needed a dude, collab We needed, album. like, five albums from these two. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Goodness. Is what we needed. And I like the dog gone. It's, you yeah, know, you know, Dog on. <laughs> when when do you hear dog on outside of country music? Yeah, yeah, but you it, don't. It's, it's yeah. better though with dog on. You know, they could have said dang on. It's you know, more memorable. It's the dog on girl is, you know, dog on. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of a montage of two people on a date. You know, two people dating. They're not really in a relationship yet, but they're like on their third or fourth date. You know, they go out to dinner, they go see a movie, and then they go downtown and they check out all the neighborhood shops. And one of them's like a candy store. He's like, hey, have you tried this chocolate? She's like, no, and she just takes a bite from his hand. <laughs> oh my God. You got a whole music video in your hand. I'm just, you know, and then later on, they go by the riverfront, they sit on a bench, they're looking at the moon, you know, telling each other their life stories. Wow. And then at the end of the night, he takes her home. She's like, all right, and she's jiggling her keys, and then they kiss. And say good night. That's the vibe I'm getting. So. Even though it's not what the song is whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that's the vibe I'm getting. But you can tell like they having a good time with the song. Yeah. Like, oh, they yes. enjoy each other's. Yeah, company. they're loving it. Oh yeah. yes. I think I actually read that Michael said this was one of the most fun songs he yeah. recorded. Him yeah. and Paul's good buddies. And you can hear it. The, the strings too. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Because the dog on there is mine. Hey. I love you more than he. Take you anywhere. Oh, yeah. But I love you endlessly. Mm. That transition on, is crazy. God. They build that up, and then it's Paul's just like coming right back in here, <laughs> baby. Yeah, because Michael had her. He's like, she's mine, yeah. and he's just like, I, I don't think so, and then just goes right back in. <laughs> exactly. You gotta yeah, expect Mike to give his spice in the song. It's funny because it seems like it's a vocal tug of war, exactly. Yeah. But at the same time, it's cohesive. That transition is fantastic.
Oh my goodness. Oh. Chimes. Michael, we're not going to fight about this, okay? Paul, I think I told you. I'm a lover, not a fighter. A memorable line right there. I've heard it all before, Michael. She told me that I'm her forever lover, you know, don't you remember? <laughs> well, after loving me, uh, she said she couldn't love another. Is that what she said? Yeah, she said it. You keep dreaming. I don't believe in <laughs> No, the girl is mine. No, mine. mine. She mine, 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 mine. The girl is mine. Never gets old. Dude, you can listen to that song nonstop. Yes, I could repeat good. it all day and listen to it all day. I all don't day. believe it. <laughs> yeah. So whose girl is it? We never know. <laughs> no, we, we don't never know. know. We'll never yeah, know. Never That's why it fades. We'll never know. That's yeah. why it fades. I love how they riff at the end there. Yeah. Just yeah. going they back talk, and forth. Yeah. And that would not work for a lot of people. People don't like hearing talking and music, but they can get away with it because they're Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Exactly. <laughs> Darn right. People want to hear them talking. It's like when they start talking, it sounds like they're still singing. I feel like I'm hearing them it's sing. It's mesmerizing. Still. Exactly. Yeah. Not only do both of them have fantastic singing voices, but I think just their talking voice yeah. is unique in general. Yeah. Like when you hear those voices, you're like, oh, that's so-and-so. Like yeah. you know who that is. They need a radio show. I also like the, uh, he comes with the deep voice. Yeah. That is the so good. He's mine. He's mine. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. Dude. Paul ate that part. When I first heard the song, I said, is that Paul? Because Michael ain't going that low. Because Michael just has came a high off, voice. And he just came off the, the girl is mine. Yeah. He yeah. goes back down. How many songs do you see of uh, two just giants? In music, I mean, we're talking globally known people yeah. together in one song. How many times have that, has that happened? It really is unbelievable that this song even exists. To be honest with you. And then they put Toto just in the back, and there's they're just nobody. Amazing. They're just nobodies. You're gonna put Toto in the back and just be nobodies. Amazing. I mean, you can hear that Africa type of synthesizer in this song. This album is great, and I think this is one of the highlights. Just a gift to have these two in a song together. Amazing. What else can you say? That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.